far as listing goes, when, when you act, after you find something and you are ready to sell it, this is the this is where you put your work in. This is where you make your money. The, the photos are going to do more for you than any any kind of verbiage can do in your in your description. I'm, I'm very basic. I just do bullet points, and I, I do about three bullet points, and, and again, just let the picture do the talking. But you, you want to list as much as you can. If you can't. Can't do ten. I mean, there's there's people that I, I follow on Facebook that, that do this full time and they list probably like twenty or thirty items a day. I think my record on a Saturday ten maybe, and that is busting it. Uh, it is hard to do that with pictures and measure. I, I do measurements on the clothing, measure sleeves, chest, because as an internet you can't try it on. So you you want to. You want to give them as much information as you can. Um, but, but if you can list one item a day, it, it's going to help. I, I've noticed any time that I do a listing, it seems like something sells. I, I, we were out of town this weekend. I've been busy with work and the, the, the weather, it seemed, everything else. So I've not been able to put as much time into my store as I have been recently. And of course it is February, which is not a real hot buying month anyway, but it's been slow. And, and I, I attribute part of that to not being able to list as much. So, uh, honey, we need to get to work this week, okay? What do you mean by doing research? What does that entail with that? That entails when you, when you find something and you have it ready to list. Uh, the th and I, I am going to get to a little bit of that later. But to, to answer it briefly, the, the thing that I use, the two things that I use the most are Google and your eBay sold listings. Because it, like I mentioned with the cat, I put it up there for $250. It doesn't matter how much you list it for. It matters how much these things are selling for. Uh, so if you do a search and you just flip the sold items or completed items list, that's going to tell you a lot more of the fair market value than just what uh, I, I noticed recently. There was an old like, old VHS tapes of Disney's Beauty and the Beast were listed for like a thousand dollars on eBay. I was at a thrift store and I came across one jackpot, you know, thousand dollar VHS, and then you click on the sold and it sold for. You know, I don't know why they're listed so high, but every now and then you'll 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 hit the lottery, I guess. But I, I will address that a little further. But Google and your sold listings are definitely the best place to start. Um, describing and measuring, as I mentioned, you just I just do bullet points. I do three about three or four really short bullet points and. And that's it. Again, let the picture do the talking. But you also, uh, when I said it, you want to try to not sell it, I'm going to show you a picture here in a second. You want to point out if your item does have a flaw, which a lot of items do, especially that I sell. If you, I mentioned that jacket, it did not have any flaws, which is kind of rare in selling used items. But if it does have a flaw, you, you want to point it out. You don't want the buyer, when they receive it, to think they received a piece of junk. You want everything to be up front. Does that make sense? Uh, and again, keep it simple. Let the pictures do the talking.